Jewish Council. Thanks for inviting Essence of Joy and Dr. Anthony Lee, founder and conductor, to share our musical offering of choral repertoire from the African American choral canon that includes sacred and secular works. We are thrilled to share our musical off offering with our home audience as well as those who are viewing via the live stream. We began today's concert with I Can Tell the World, arranged by Moses Hilton. We move forward with Lift Every Voice and Sing, arranged by Dr. Roland Carter, who was Professor Emeritus of Music at the University of Tennessee in Chattanooga. This hymn was created in 1900 by brothers James Weldon Johnson and John Roseman Johnson, and is considered the Black National Anthem. We will continue with Child in My Song, composed by Dr. Adolphus Hillsworth, with text taken from the poem On Imagination, created by Phyllis Wheatley, who was an African-American slave during the 18th century. Mia, from the Ngoza Saba Suite, was composed by Glenn Burley in celebration of the Kwanzaa holiday in the United States. The title Mia means purpose and is one of seven expressions that provides a focus for African-Americans. We conclude part one of today's concert with a choral setting of the traditional gospel piece, Precious Lord. The original music was composed by Thomas A. Dorsey in 1932, and Dr. Roland Carter created this choral setting that will involve two soloists, Andrew Smart and Sasha Gale. Enjoy.
Essence of Joy traveled to Nashville, Tennessee two weeks ago for performances that occurred at St. David's Episcopal Church and St. Anselm's, Anselm's excuse me, Episcopal Church. Vicar Tabitha Sonko is the rector at St. Anselm's Episcopal Church located on the campus of Fisk University. She and Dr. Leach previously served in ministry with the monumental African-American Episcopal Church in Steelton, Pennsylvania, thus the seed for our invitation to travel to Nashville. Palm Sunday was celebrated at St. Anselm's Church, and the repertoire that we will share now was performed during the morning worship service. Depth of Mercy is a hymn setting of a familiar hymn by Victor Johnson, who is based in Dallas, Texas. Mr. Johnson, who was a composer and arranger and concert organist, was invited to arrange a composition for Essence of Joy in 2000 to be performed at the 2001 Celebration of African American Spirituals Festival, now known as the African American Music Festival at Penn State. The Blood Song, composed by Kirk Franklin, is a brilliant mix of contemporary gospel music with a, with a text that challenges the listener to consider the way forward as the season of Lent emerges in our shared journey. Sasha Guerra and I will be featured as soloists. The final piece in this portion of our concert is Hosanna Hosanna from the cantata Let God Arise by Glenn Burley. Mr. Burley also completed a commission for Essence of Joy that was premiered at, at the 2003 celebration of African, Amer sorry, African American spirituals. This traditional gospel setting of the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem prior to, the, uh, to all of the events of what we now call Holy Week is a reminder of the joy and confu confusion that framed the entry of Jesus into Jerusalem prior to his crucifixion. Thank you.
The final portion of today's concert involves three choral works that were featured in the following films. I Love the Lord from The Preacher's Wife with Rachel Seiden as soloist. Glory from the, from the movie Selma with Hallie Todd, Conrad Peterman, and Rachel Hists as soloists, and Nicholas Beebe and Robert Chocarico Jr. as rappers. The Rose of Freedom from the movie Rustin was based upon the life and contribution of Bayard Rustin, civil rights activist and planner, which will feature Ava DiMartino as soloist. Rejoice, composed by Reverend Smokey Norfolk, who serves as pastor of Victory Cathedral Worship Center, located in Bolingbrook, Illinois, was also a world acclaimed songwriter, vocalist, and Grammy Award winner. Rejoice is contemporary gospel music in its finest expression and will involve several soloists and choreography performed by the choir. Soloists for today will be Antonio Fondacaro, Ava DiMartino, Rachel Seiden, and Ryan Rosignol. Wanting Memories is the signature piece from the mu musical theater production entitled Crossings, created by Dr. E.J. Barnwell, former artistic di director and singer with the female a cappella group Sweet Honey in the Rock that was based in Washington, D.C. The lyrics from Wanting Memories provide words of encouragement and support for all who seek to celebrate the special moments they experienced while growing into their own self-awareness during their teenage years. For many years, Essence of Joy has performed the following three selections as the closing musical signature for our concerts. I Just Want to Say Thanks was composed by Dr. Raymond Wise professor of music at Indiana University in Bloomington. The Lord is My Light was composed by Percy Brady from Chicago, Illinois. And Anticipation was first performed by Essence of Joy in October 1995 and has remained in our repertoire since that premiere. V. Michael K., a native of Houston, Texas, is the composer. So listen, clap your hands, smile, and be positively transformed as the music and energy in this place becomes one embrace of humanity, creativity, and spirit.
six, seven, eight.
going to introduce our graduating class for this year. Mason Yoakum, his degree will be in kinesiology and he expects to pursue a doctor of chiropractic practice. Statement? It's a big class, so just, I'll tell you when to clap. Thank you. Annabelle Smarth, she is uh, majoring in biobehavioral health, minor in vocal performance. She will graduate in August. She plans to uh, continue her graduate study in applied behavioral therapy while working as a day teacher in Harlem. Rachel Seiden, she is finishing a Bachelor of Science in Criminology sociology minor. She's also in the Schreier Honors College and just completed her thesis. She'll graduate in May. She plans to pursue a Juris Doctorate in Law at Rutgers Law School and uh, plans to join the AOJ Alumni Singers Im immediately. <laughs> Alex Lott, his degree will be in Chemistry, He'll graduate next month, and he's been accepted in the PhD program in chemistry at Colorado State. Ashley Godwin, Master of Music, French Horn Performance. She'll graduate in May. She's currently uh, pursuing a, uh, employment in elementary, general, and or instrumental music in Pennsylvania. Myla Hirsch. Bachelor of Architecture. She'll graduate in May. She is now officially engaged. <laughs> and she has uh, accepted employment at, is it Smiros? Smiros and Smiros Architects. Liberty Krauss, president of the choir. She is finishing a degree in Communication Sciences and Disorders. She graduated in May. She will be commissioned as a Naval Officer, moving to Pensacola, Florida, to attend Navy Flight School. And then we have, I think that's everybody so far. No, 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 no. <laughs> Madison Travaglino, who is from Pittsburgh. Madison has been with me since I returned to the choir in August 2020. She's completing a degree in vocal performance, plans to move back to Pittsburgh where she will be teaching voice and singing with the Mendelssohn Choir while applying for graduate voice programs. Charlene Bonata. Degrees in biology with a focus in neuroscience. She'll graduate next month. First resting from four years of doing a degree. <laughs> Plans to work in a biotech lab starting the summer or next fall, but really will be pursuing her passion in music. She also joined the choir in January 2021. Elizabeth Bayline from Rhode Island, BS degree in energy engineering, graduate next month. She's accepted employment as a master planning engineer for RMF Engineering in Baltimore, Maryland. Ava DiMartino, former vice president of the choir. She will complete a bachelor of music education and a minor in Italian she will student teach next fall. And finally, Jessica Heise. Jessica is completing degrees in vocal performance and broadcast journalism. She'll graduate next month, plans to take a gap year to do what she wants to do. <laughs> is that everybody? 
Now you may clap. While they're walking, this has been an extraordinary year for personal musicianship amongst the ranks of the choir. Well, everyone that has either performed as a vocal soloist or an instrumentalist with the choir or in the fundraising series, just raise your hands. You may have walked. It's equal opportunity for sure, but these are the, uh, the young people that have been, uh, have gone the extra mile to elevate all of our repertoire during this season. Uh, singers from this choir, Essence Two, the alumni singers, and Capital Area Music Association will travel in June to Paris to participate in a wonderful choral festival. So today is our final concert of spring 2024, but a few will travel in the summer and have an, an experience of their young lives. So keep us in your thoughts and moments of reflection. Thank you for those, to those of you that are joining us by the live stream. Here we go. <laughs> 